And and one person who fits that description, a person who was subscribed to me and I didn't even know it, is vlogging with the beach coma. And this person is has been posting since November last year and he's got over a thousand subscribers. So he would have got featured in this video. But unfortunately he, his subscribe subscriptions are not public. So I didn't know. I didn't know. I apologize vlogging with a beach coma. But he is a channel dedicated to covering the Stop the ULES movement, including public photography from protests to audits. Vlogging with the beach coma will bring you a range of video and photographic content. Please hit that subscribe, leave me a comment, and join me on our journey. So I wanted to give a big shout out to vlogging with a beach coma. And I did message him privately so that I could see whether or not he he wanted to do something we we could maybe collaborate on some videos and um he did get back to me and he told me uh he he told me a lot about himself why he got into it and he also told me that reggie photo was one of his inspirations and actually kind of helped him get to the point that he's at and uh and i i really enjoyed watching reggie photo and i still enjoy watching reggie photo uh, and i did a video about reggie photo a while back um but it, it is what he said was very interesting is that when he was um starting to do his videos, he kept coming out with a lot of Reggie Photos sayings and he and and things that he used to say. And like I wonder if people like got it got at him for that. It's like, oh, you're copying Reggie Photo because you're saying his sayings. But I don't think it's a bad thing to emulate the people that you like. I remember the first audit that i did with a drone i was like let's see what this is like from above and then someone commented saying you're gonna get in trouble with a with a certain youtuber and i'm and, and there's no way dj would get angry at somebody imitating them in a positive way i'd like clearly not uh, co uh dj audits in the chat and said i copied uk meet the tyrants and love it <laughs> is that oh yeah with the love it thing yeah, I think yeah, I think I know what you mean. But yeah, so he I, I asked him because I was interested about what is the beach coma got to do with it. And he said that um he was he had an uncle or a member of his family was actually a semi professional beach coma and usually went and like topped up his wages and things like that. So that uh, by beach combing. And so he went out with him doing beach combing and stuff like that for many, many years. And so when he started his channel, that was kind of in his mind as like uh, an idea for a name. And a lot of people said, maybe don't use the word audits, maybe go for vlogging because then you're kind of not limiting yourself to that one side of it. So very, very interesting channel. I'm hoping that we can get, I can get him on for an interview sometime. Uh, my schedule is so bad. So apologies if people do message me and i don't get back to them immediately or it i might not be able to schedule things for uh, like a few weeks but I, I am getting there i am trying to sort out my schedule a bit better and the more i do the better i get at it so uh, i'm a bit more confident now that i'll be able to do some more videos this this year so big shout out to vlogger with a beach coma i apologize for not featuring you in my video but i i do appreciate you watching my channel and supporting me another person 